stuff on the line. Our nine overtime game of the week. The Falcons have fallen on hard times of late. Back to back defeats while the Troopers red hot. Six straight wins coming into this one. Eastlake got to host a home playoff game in round one last year. It led to a first round win. So there we go. Pretty big deal here. Eastlake's opening possession. Luke Lomely's pass picked off by Curtis Murillo. He does it all, and that interception would lead to this. Evan Minjades putting his head down and powering his way into the end zone. Jason, what has been the key to the Troopers' uh, winning streak of late? You know what? Their defense, those adjustments that they made late in the season have really paid off this year. Following a blocked punt, Eastwood back in the red zone. It's Max, Max Montilla with the touchdown. It's 14-0. Uh, Eastwood very quick still in the first quarter Lomelai is picked off again by the trooper defense this time it's Christian Munoz with the interception that would lead to another touchdown and it was 21 nothing at the end of the first quarter second quarter from bad to worse for Eastlake Lomelai destroyed in his own end zone by Robert Lagarde play was blown dead so just ruled a safety but Ed Lagarde has been awesome this year he has been balling leading the city in sacks coming into the, tonight with eight sacks uh, that whole defense they are riding this momentum wave and just before the half that is mean hot as to Murillo for the score Eastwood up 30 to nothing at the break Se uh, second half how about more of the same mean hot as Murillo again for the touchdown Curtis Murillo I UTEP, give him a call, boys. How about that? You need some receivers next year. Final score, Eastwood, the 42 to nothing shutout of the Falcons tonight. That is how you roll into the playoffs. They clinch a home playoff game next week. Andy Morgan standing by, as always, with the winning coach from our Game of the Week presented by Johnny Caritos. That would be Julio Lopez. Well, there was never a doubt in our nine overtime game of the week. The Eastwood Troopers getting the win 42 nothing over the Eastlake Falcons and claiming a share of the district championship in the process. Joined by head coach Julio Lopez. Coach got a couple big plays on special teams. Offense obviously did what they had to do and the defense pitching a shutout all three phases of the game rolling here tonight. Yeah, that's really what we've done all year. You know, again, we had the hiccup against Pebble Hills, but since then we've been lights out. Our defense is playing amazing. I feel like they don't get enough credit and you saw tonight the job they did on a good Eastlake team. You get with this win a home playoff game. How big is that going into the playoffs next week in the by district round? Yeah, that's huge. This is the best environment in El Paso to play a game. This is our fourth trophy in the last eight years. I'm sorry, sixth trophy in the last eight years. This is the fifth different year that we've won a championship here. I'm proud of the kids. I'm proud of the coaches. I'm proud of everybody that's a part of what we're building and what we continue to do around here. Congratulations on the win, coach. Thank you. Now joined by a big time member on this Troopers defense, Robert Lagarda. Robert, big win for you guys. What were you guys able to do on defensively? It just seems like Eastlake couldn't get anything going. Yeah, you know, I had two sacks tonight, but I can't I can't do it on my teammates, man. They're always stepping up, doing their job, covering the DBs, giving the D-line time to get there and get home, get some sacks. Robert, congratulations on the win. The Eastwood Troopers claiming a share of the district title in a home playoff game here next week in the process with a 42-0 win over Eastlake. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Andy. So, guys, that's seven straight wins for Eastwood now entering the playoffs. They made the regional semifinals last year. That's the Sweet 16. Do we see it happening again? Absolutely, we see it happening again. The way that they're playing tonight, there's no doubt that they can get into that uh, playoff. Uh,